Welcome to the GP Llama YouTube channel and to a few Zwifty updates as Zwift start the rollout of Game Client version 1.59. Coming up in today's video, player highlights, allowing you to easily identify yourself in a big bunch. Route names are now showing when you select an event in game on the home screen. Finally, there's a few minor updates to the Pace Partner experience, which are now known as Robo Pacers. They'll always be Pace Partners to me. There's a few miscellaneous bug fixes and enhancements, and on the hardware side of things, Zwift have released a new firmware for the Play Controllers that should result in a much better experience for a number of users. All right, let's get straight into the details now. Okay, before jumping in game to show you player highlights, let's have a look at the route names that are now listed under the event tab, clicking on this one here, where we can easily see it's on Road to Sky. So no guesswork anymore, we're having to jump in game to find out what route it's on. This one here is on Triple Flat Loops. Let's have a look at another one here. This ride on Magnificent 8 is on, surprise, surprise, the Magnificent 8. And this ride here, Finish Focus Light, is on Tempest Fugit. Nice flat ride, that one, if that's what you're after. Excellent to see this very, very small quality of life update finally on the home screen. Onto player highlighting, which is a small feature that is rolling out slowly this week. And as you can see here, I have a glowing white line around my avatar so I can easily spot myself in the bunch. And in the shadows there, it's even easier to spot where I am. Now this shows up in a few different ways, which I'll go through in just a moment. But as I scan around here, it's much easier to pick myself out of the bunch. And when it comes to group rides, such as the Tour de Zwift or Tour of Watopia, where everybody's in the same kit, this is going to help out a lot. You can see there in the shadows, even better. All right, now from the back and top and out, much easier to spot where I am. Now this highlighting only happens when you're near other riders for a certain period of time, and it is optional. You can disable it in the menus if you like. If player highlighting is enabled in workout mode, your whole avatar will glow with the color of the interval coming up. So I'm heading into a red section here in just a few seconds. I'll pulsate red right here, here, and here. And then I'm into my 450 watt erg for 20 seconds. And as I roll, well, not quite roll, I'm pushing pretty hard. As I roll into the final few seconds of that into a white section, you'll see me pulsate white as it changes. There we go, there we go, and done. So player highlighting also working within workout mode just to remind you that something's about to change. There's a little bit more information on this feature posted over on the Zwift forums that indicates event ride leaders will have a yellow glow around them. Your friends who follow you back, members of your team or club, for example, will have a blue glow, but they do limit that to only three other riders at this point in time. The focus rider in fan view mode, such as a celebrity guest rider in large events, will have a green glow, and Zwifters using Android devices will see this feature in an upcoming release. If this highlighting isn't to your liking, it's a simple case of going over to your settings, under preferences, scrolling down to rider highlighting and switching that on or off from there, and you're good to go. Onto a few minor updates made to riding with robo pacers. Zwift so state that when riding in small robo pacer groups, the area in which the drops multipliers are in effect has been increased. And when riding in a robo pacer group, you now have a longer period of time to rejoin the group before losing your drops multiplier. To put this to the test, I dropped back off the bunch and they tried to rejoin the bunch, but unfortunately pushing about 500 watts still wasn't enough to catch up to Coco. Those bunches move pretty fast. But you can see there the drops multiplier was still in effect that far off the back. For the full list of updates in 1.59, including the miscellaneous fixes, I'll link to this post in the video description below. And finally today, jumping over to Zwift Insider for their excellent article on the Zwift Play Controller firmware update to version 1.3.0, released last week. Eric has all the details you need to know about how to perform the update, and even has a little bit more tech details than what was provided in the official changelog, which was pretty light on. I'll put a link to this article in the video description below if you want to dig into all the details over there. So there it is, a few quality of life updates for both the hardware side of things and in-game on Zwift. I'll put links in the video description below to everything you've seen here in this video today. As always, if you found this informative, give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe to be across more videos on this channel, and I'll see you soon.